Today I just want to talk about um, the anointing. Somebody say anointing. God. It's so difficult these days to talk about anointing. It's, it's as if you're going to say you're talking about anointing oil. Amen. But then uh, those things are not making us not to teach the gospel and to miss our season because I believe that this is our season for the anointing of God. Amen. This is our season for the anointing of God. And I just want to teach on what anointing is and what anointing does in our life. So we're going to open the book of um, Luke chapter 4 and 1 Samuel chapter 16. Hallelujah. Chapter 4 and verse 16. Yes. Luke chapter 4 and first of all chapter 16. Luke chapter 4 leads Samuel Wapi chapter 16. I decree and I declare my life will never be the same again. I believe and I declare. My life will never mm. Did you find it? Be full man. Okay, uh, let's read first on Samuel, first Samuel chapter six, sixteen. Uh, let's read from the six. Somebody please read it for me. Um, let's read Luke chapter 4. The book of Luke chapter 4. I think we're going to read uh, verse 18. Verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. Amen. Thank you for the reading. A baby, uh, thank you for reading, baby. Let's, let's all close our eyes, everybody. Please close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God, that Lord, may your word that has been read in this place, Lord, be changed into the answers to those that have got questions. 
Lord, to be the direction to those that are directionless. Father, I pray as I decrease that you may increase in me. I pray, Father, that you may interpret and, and Lord, explain the scriptures, that they will make sense even to our very minds, that they will make sense to our spirit. I pray, Father, and I believe that you are here and the anointing of God is here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to start from the book of Luke where we read. And maybe let me first say when God called me. It was years ago when I was a teenager. And I was at the high school. Those days I remember I was just a dedicated young man. It was uh, um, on a weekend, on a Saturday, when um, it was about chiefs and pirates playing. So everybody was excited. And um, the Lord told me to remain praying while everyone was in their TV room. And the Lord told me to go and pray somewhere next to the river. And as I went to the river, I, I, I carried my Bible. And uh, when I took my Bible, I took my Bible like this, I put the thing and I went to, I went to go and pray. Now I was a uh, bit scared of snakes and everything then. But I was praying, I was praying for a long time, I was praying there. And I was waiting or hoping that God is going to say something. Uh, God was not saying anything. But I enjoyed praying in that place. Until I decided that now I'm going back. I, 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 I almost like I heard the, the, the voice saying, I must open the Bible where, where I've, I've, I've put my finger. Now from the time I was in the dormitory, to the time I was walking and to the time I was praying, I've had my Bible like this all the time. Now, when, when the voice said, I must open the Bible, this is the scripture that I opened to. This is where my finger was pointing. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because it anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And it was like it was like now I can preach. It was like now I can I, now God can use my mouth to speak. And from that day onwards, I thank God that it has been this far. I always say Ebenezer goes. Because preaching has is not about saying good statements, but it's about the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, I got a bit confused for some years. Why must the Bible say it's to the poor? But then I understood as I grew up that. Being poor is not necessarily the absence of money. So there are so many people who have got a lot of money, yet they are poor. In fact, some people are so poor that all they have is money. Do you get that? Some people are so poor that all they have is money. So you are not rich until you have got something that money cannot buy. You must understand that you've been given power. Power is in you. Power doesn't come with money to you. But you come with power to the money. You don't come with power to the job you have. You don't have power because of the job you have. But you bring power to the job you are having. You do not pray to be promoted so that you can have power. 
But you get promoted because you have power. Power is in you. So power is not in the things you have or you want to have. Power is in you. Tell the devil power is in me. Oh, hallelujah. As I'm preaching in this place today, I am preaching in power. As I do whatever I do, I do it in power. It is not the things I have that give me power. But I give power to the things I have. Hallelujah. You are busy chasing for the money because you want power in the money. Money has got no power. But you bring power to the money. I am anointed that I may preach the gospel. So for anything you do, you need power. And the power of God. Am I preaching to somebody in here? Am I preaching to somebody in here? You're looking at the suit you're wearing and you're saying, hey, this suit is beautiful. That suit is beautiful because it's on you. Give it to somebody, you'll see how ugly it is. Yeah. You think that hairstyle, you think that hairstyle is beautiful. You think that hairstyle makes you beautiful. No, you bring put it to that hairstyle. Take that hairstyle and give it to somebody who has not washed for two months. And give it to somebody who is wearing clothes that are torn. You will hate that hairstyle. So power is in you. Hallelujah. You look at your house and say, my house is beautiful. <laughs> but you, you bring beauty to your house. Come out of that house, you will see how miserable that house is. So power is not in the things. But power lives here. Power lives in me. I do not push to be appointed in high positions so that I can have power. But I, I, I invest and I look in the power that I have. The more I walk in power, even where I am, is the more I get promoted because of the power that is already in me. That if you don't see the power in you, no one else will see it. Now why do you see it yourself? This is money. 
Now, I'm chasing money. I've got power. Now I'm chasing money. Come on, money, I'm getting there. The money is busy chasing me. I'm chasing money. But if 